Hello YouTube, welcome to another installment of Evian Electronics blog. Today I just thought I'd talk a little bit about something which um, I acquired from a friend of mine. Um, what you're seeing in front of you is a Yisreel Electronics model OSC-3C. Um, I have no information about this old oscilloscope. Um, I don't know what its frequency capabilities are, etc. But um, I thought, well, hey, seeing as I'm going to give it a bit of a, a look over, why not do that under the camera and um, show you guys all this uh, nice old piece of kit? I have no idea if it works as yet, but I'm told it does. So um, let's get uh, stuck in over here and take a look at this uh, old oscilloscope. First, let's switch it on and see what happens. Well, we have a power indication coming on over here. That's a good sign always. Hopefully nothing too strange happens or blows up or anything like that. Uh, what I'm hoping for is to see something... Ah, well, would you look at that? Okay, currently I do have my signal generator outputting 1 kilohertz. So, let's see if we can... Uh, sort of centralize the trace um, well we do have life that's always a good sign and when I hook up my one kilohertz I am seeing a sine wave over there that's um, quite nice to see actually just bringing down the exposure a little bit so that we can uh, see that a little bit better but um, yeah that's pretty cool actually from this uh, old school oscilloscope it sort of works straight out the bat um, it does appear to be drifting somewhat, so I think I'm going to give it a few minutes to warm up, um, and uh, let's see what it does. I'll be back once she's a bit warm. Okay, so it should be pretty much almost warmed up by now. Um, it could be given a bit longer, but I just thought, hey, I, I don't really want to sit and wait too long for it to warm up. I've got quite a bit of stuff I need to get done today. So... Let's get that uh, one kilohertz signal back in here. As you can see, we are on one millisecond, so more or less we are getting one cycle per division over there, which is exactly the one kilohertz that we would expect. Uh, the interesting thing is that despite the age of this unit, she seems to be working quite well, um, except for a bit of the buttons, which I've noticed um, are a bit dirty and just need a good all-round cleanup, uh, which I'm thinking I'll do also under the camera, but just now. Um, hey, wow, this is pretty cool, eh? This is like, a, I would say, an early 80s oscilloscope. And the fact that it's still working quite well um, really impresses me. Um, it doesn't look like a fantastic built piece of equipment, but um, hey, I'd say let's um, take it apart, have a look what's inside. Uh, I'd be pretty keen to see what makes this thing go. And, um, yeah, uh, maybe clean it up while we're in there, um, clean up the pots, etc., and hopefully um, we'll have a nice little functional um, early 80s retro oscilloscope. Catch you all in the insides. Despite um, what you may think when you first open up these older oscilloscopes with them having very few components inside, um, they're actually quite nice uh, from this perspex of um, repairing. I mean, this thing pretty much has very little inside it. You have your power transformer, um, your main control board, if you will, and most of the actual controls are old-style wafer switches and some parts and stuff like that. Not much to go wrong with them. Quite easy to fix if something does. Um, as you look around, you'll see there are no valves per se. This is fully transistorized. I count zero ICs inside this thing. But I do see um, four, five, six, seven, eight, possibly nine uh, transistors. Now, well, maybe ten, actually, now that I see there's a little black fella up at the top of here as well. So let's say we've got ten transistors in here. A um, couple of capacitors, resistors, uh, and whatnot. Uh, switching. It's, it's, it's a very basic design. Um, I must admit, very cleverly put together um, for such a simple thing. But um, yeah, there's nothing fancy in here, nothing wow, nothing out there, um, and pretty much nothing that you won't be able to repair, um, which is quite nice uh, from, like I say, the perspective of being able to fix it and find parts to fix it. 
I am a little bit concerned about these electrolytics, so I am going to give this thing a once over with the ESR meter as soon as it arrives and uh, make sure that there's no leaky capacitors or anything like that. Clean it up properly, uh, give it a good service, basically spray some lubricants in the switches and the pots, etc. And um, I think I've actually scored myself quite a nice old retro oscilloscope. Now, I know I don't need, need it per se, but it's nice to have. Unless, of course, somebody makes me an offer I can't refuse, then of course um, I'd probably let it go. But for now, let's clean it up, give it a service, and make this little fella work. Um, I even have a little spot for it up on the bench if need be. So let's see how it goes.